P is for? Hospitality. R is for? Success. I is for? Integrity. You had D. Determination. I would say the E is strong in this classroom because you showed? Excellent. Oh my goodness, and that spells? Pride. Welcome to River Place. We are so excited to have you here. Hi, Tina. We have a lot planned for you. Hey, Tina. What's happening? Doing? Good to see you. See ya. Can't wait to see you in your classroom. All right. So we are going to go head up and check out to see what Art is doing right now. Art has been still functioning in the classroom because that's where all of the art materials are. Tell me about this. Huh. I, I don't know. I just kind of like all that went on. Hey, that's what art, that's art, man. Why not? I love it. I know a lot of schools are pushing in and doing different things, but it was important for us to keep art as normal as possible. It's a great opportunity for kids to, to really um, get creative and, and connect. So I have a lot of friends here and they, they don't know a whole lot about River Place. And what I'd love for them to learn about River Place is like, what is C squared? So each month we have a new C squared representative and it's a new, we call it a culture of kindness. The culture of kindness this month is fairness, and I am honored to have the badge for this month. And you also get to have lunch with the counselor. Yeah, and when you meet with the counselor, you talk about your ethical principle, right? Which yes. is kindness, and then you make a plan to share it with your class. Yes, right? that is what we do. That is awesome, and you are a great person to do that. Thank you for sharing with us. Yeah. You're welcome. And when you had your lunch with the counselor, were there any virtual students there too? Yes, the counselor had this Zoom yeah. thing, and then we got to talk with the virtual students too. Yes, because we want to make sure they're included as well, mm -hmm. and they get to participate as well, so it's pretty cool. Great. I love the culture of caring, yes. but I also love Benjamin, the culture of kindness. I know, right. We are really living the Leander way by using those ethical principles. And so that's been really important uh, for our campus to, to Love uh, be hashtag went LISD. Yeah, right? that's awesome. In our cafeteria, you'll see we have flags from all of the countries that represent our students that, that attend River Place. Oh. So I can't name all of the flags, but I promise you the children know their flags and it's important for them to see them. And it's important for us to recognize uh, them and where they came from oh, I love that. and who they are. So we had decided um, as a team for equity and inclusion that one of the first things that we can do to show equity and acceptance on campus was to learn all of our students' full names, first and last names, and not take shortcuts and not create nicknames for them, but to learn their full name because it's one, it's a sign of respect and recognition and acceptance of our students. and. You know, we have a very diverse group of students here and we've got people from all over the world. So taking the time to learn those names and the culture behind that is, you know, it just, it shows all that acceptance and hey, we're part of a community together. Tell us about this wall, Jennifer. Okay, so No Place for Hate um, is really a, it's a program that we have here on campus and, and across maybe even the district. And we want to encompass that all students are accepting of others. And so with that, we try to do different things throughout the year to embrace that idea. So what we did is we got the book, Your Name is a Song, and then we scanned the pages in and then we read the book through video and we shared that through our morning announcements. And then from that point, the students were each passed out in their classes, including virtual students, um, passed out the circles and they were asked to write their names on those circles. And so now, as you can see, we've started taking those circles to incorporate the music notes to match up with the theme that your name is a song. I love your name, Debbie Can you tell me a little bit about your name? It's Indian. Um, <laughs> it means of God. That is really cool. I think it's really important that we celebrate our names, right? Yeah. Do you remember how to say my name? Miss Pasak. Yes, because my name is a song too, and a lot of people pronounce it wrong, right? Do you remember how, how we remember to say my name? It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, Miss Pa <laughs> and then a song. Yes. <laughs> That is absolutely right. And it's crucial to embed culture within our campus and mainly acceptance because if we don't have that piece there, then everything we're trying to build on from there is not going to be as solid. So we know that we have to embrace that here at our campus to make sure students understand to accept differences. It is a very foundational way to demonstrate that you value them as a human being. I mean, to learn their names. River Place School, we hold so dear.
we're Titans, Titans. We share, we care, we show respect. It's the Titan way. Hooray! Like, share, and subscribe. I feel like every time we have this, I know I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, the more you show kindness, the easier it is to get this.